What's up guys, it's John from Jay's Live. Today we're looking at a game called Bomb Fest. So I've been sent an email about two hours ago roughly. The first thing I noticed that it was already, it says editor's note, interested in Xbox One, PS4, Switch and theme code for review. So it's actually on all four already. And I believe the game just came out today on PC at least because it said release date 31st of January, which is today. And I also forgot today was late for January. <laughs> so yeah. That was pretty interesting. The game, from what I saw the trailer, I uh, just got a little bit for it. This is you, an adore to pick up and play. All you need is two button boxes, and even it looks like it was meant for Nintendo Switch primarily. To be honest, uh, that's just my first initial thought on the thing. I put it on PC. It feels like it's going to be kind of awkward to use. I think Nintendo Switch would probably be the recommended choice because it would be a great game. It's this party game and put it on Steam for PC. Kind of not really a party thing. I've only seen this one trailer currently and I was going to check it out now. I do like the fact they have a variety of bombs. Characters. I wish they had a face. I think, I think that might have helped. Um, some silly weird like cartoon type of face set like a wooden doll. But that's just um, that's kind of whatever really. They all have a different style so it's not bad. It's twenty dollars, but it's a uh, fifteen. Is it fifteen? Fifteen forty-nine uh, in pounds or something like that. It roughly translates. So yeah, it looks like it'd be a great Nintendo game. I also wrote it on PC because it's easiest to review on it. To be honest. <laughs> now I'm playing up to four. Now it said uh, play with your friends, but I'm not sure if that was like locally. You have to pay with people you know off of a Steam, off of the Nintendo accounts, or you could do like what Mario does and you have it like on the internet and it's also globally as well. So not on the Nintendo Switch that Mario has a, a global thing, but you can also play with your friends as well. So it, it kind of varies in that sense. So I want to see what this is heading. So the PC requirements. Uh, it doesn't require that much, to be honest. It doesn't look like it should do. If it does, that's kind of a bit poor optimization. Let's close it down for a sec. Um, it requires a Core i5 third generation. That's pretty low spec, to be honest. Your 1.7 gigahertz. Yeah, that's about it. And this is just a different version of the Core i5 third generation. There are. Don't get me started on Intel. <laughs> um, 16 gigabyte RAM. That is. That's roughly what you generally have in a PC, but a laptop that's kind of quite high. To be honest, I think that's most laptops have about 8 to 16. So. Um, graphics card is your dead. It's just what's inbuilt in most laptops. You get that standard, and even that's pretty low graphics-wise. So I think most of it's on the processor probably. Um, version twelve, I think it's the latest one it's using. I never get DirectX. Like I never really get the. Well, I get the latest one. I just never really look at it. And the 180 megabytes. That's very very low storage space to be honest. But it has to be on you know Nintendo Switch and everything else. So that kind of if it's 180 megabytes on everything, because in the Switch storage space is very little in comparison to everything else. So I think that kind of helps with that universal storage space. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so it, it doesn't change. So when you're doing options and you have all these volume buttons, it doesn't change whilst you're doing it. So you kind of don't really get the sound that you really want. So you have to go in and out to actually adjust it properly. So you have to increase it by so many folds and then go out and press um, back. And then you can you can now adjust it like, oh, that's a bit too quiet. You have to go back in. But okay, the music can go up a bit more. Um, for some reason it's set by default, as you keep it to see the top it's switching from Nintendo Switch to Xbox to PS4 or everything else on. So it keeps switching to all of the different types of consoles it's on and 
that's kind of a bit irritating to be honest, because I kind of want to know what's back and what's this and what's that to be honest. I think it should be escape or a back on the PC, that's generally an escape what it is, so maybe they could have worked out key bindings a bit better. Um, can you change key bindings? No, because they're the only options. Uh, set up, let's check that out. Uh, okay. Okay, what's this? Low spawn rate, medium spawn rate, and high spawn rate. Um, but spawn. Four seconds off to pick it up. Regular bombs. Okay. So you can change what you want. I keep pressing escape, see, so it's just. It just feels really unusual to press X instead of escape on the PC setup. So we can press play and see what that leads us to. Next, uh, unlock in one match. Press A, X. Join and choose your character. C, okay. There we go. Uh, classic Baker. How do I, uh... Okay. I can't change this guy. Uh, classic Courier. Minstrel and Taylor. Um... Okay. Okay, so WCD doesn't work. Oh, I see how it works. So, in order to play this game, you use the mouse as one person, and you use the arrow keys as another person. Um, you can also dive by pressing the right click button. And you can, for some reason, jump off the floor in a really weird way. Like, you're just, you're just hopping in a space. So you're kind of stuck on the floor if you don't move the mouse and then pick him up again. Um, you can run out of bounds, it seems. So, that's interesting. This is practice. Pause game options. Okay, so escape does, is a thing now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. That doesn't that's kind of quite irritating to be honest, this pressing thing. I have I have the mouse. If the cursor was converted to this, that may be a bit better, but that pressing it kind of indicates that the game wants me to do something. That's what it feels like. So that's just a uh, few. Things from, and escape's no longer working, so you have to press X. You have to remember, and you can't change it. Right? <laughs> so that's kind of a bit irritating. Who am I playing right now? This guy. Okay. Okay, you can get... Okay, there's a timer on it. Over four seconds, I believe it was. So pick this guy up, and throw it this guy. This guy has to throw it, essentially. Oh, you set up a chain reaction, and then you throw it to the out bounds. What's this? Okay, I get it now. There's no indication what you have to do. Oh crap. Wait, what? Okay, the one I was holding up. Great. Oh, so you're gonna trap each other between the rocks. <laughs> oh, this. God damn it. Ah, right. So you control it by moving the same as you would normally. I know, it's a, there's a lot that I would like to improve. <laughs> That's it primarily. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, gameplay video review.
Uh, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. And if you do have any suggestions, uh, put them in the comments below because I'm also interested in what you think they can improve on as well. Remember, this is the PC version, not the Nintendo Switch, not the Xbox One, or the PS4 version. So, And it did come out today, and this is the beta version I'm testing. So it's uh, very iffy and up in the air. But if you do have any suggestions, put it in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.